Yo, 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 what it do? My name is Mark Roden. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be doing rating my subscribers cars yet again. I think this is like number eight. Uh, you guys send in your cars all the time. So first of all, thank you. And second, if I haven't gotten to your car yet, don't worry. I'm going to do every one. Okay. Every single car is going to get a feature. Don't you worry. Okay, all right, buddy. It's going to come. It just got to give me time because there's so many. Also, if you want your car featured, please send me a DM on Instagram at ss.marky with pictures of your car and a little tiny build list. And that'll be perfect. Also, guys, if you want to support my new channel, the link is going to be in the top of the description. It's just something to help out with my 350Z build. If it ever like blows up, I can use money from that to pay for the build for you guys. That's kind of the plan with that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys. Love you. Let's get into the video. All right, so first up is Loso Raps at Loso Raps on Instagram, and he has a 1995 SC 400 with 130,000 miles. Second owner, bought it all stock, blah blah blah. He's got coilovers, halo lights, dash kit, wheels, painted tinted tail lights, and he wrapped it gloss sand per sparkle, which that color is actually really sick. Uh, the headlights, I'm not really a big fan of like tinted lights. I don't think they look that great. So the headlights and tail lights, I probably wouldn't have tinted personally. But it does look good. I mean, I see what you're going for here and it works. It does definitely works. And I love SCs. If you have an SC, that automatically brings your score up like 5 million. Also, dude, don't sell yourself short. Include everything that you've done to the car. Include that underglow. I see that underglow and you didn't tell me that you did it. So come on, include that stuff, all right, man? You gotta do that. But anyway, all in all, this is a great car. It's a start. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff to it. I don't think he's going for like the whole stancy boy look because it's a little high right now but then again i heard that it's really hard to get scs to look like really low on stock body so maybe that's why but anyway i like it the one thing i would change about it though is definitely the lighting there how like you have the tinted stuff i just don't like tinted stuff too much but the one thing i would keep is that color that color is beautiful i want that color on my z next up is mike buckley at buckley on instagram and he has i think this is a ford fusion i don't even know what this thing is but it is honestly sick. I've never thought I would say that about this car, but it looks good. That's what I love about like stancing cars is that you can make any car look good if you stance it. It just looks awesome. But obviously he's on air. Uh, he has a really nice, you know, stancy boy trunk set up with the air tank. I, I love when they do that. I think those are odd Hans. If I'm correct, the wheels that you're sitting on, they look like odd Hans. And if they are, I love you because Adhan gang, I got like Adhan DSO2s on my 350Z and I love them. But dude, this thing's awesome. I mean, is it my personal like choice? Like if I were to choose one of these cars, this or the SC, I would definitely choose the SC. But the fact that you went out of your way to do this and it actually does surprisingly work makes it that much cooler. Uh, the one thing I would change on it is maybe the fitment. The fitment's a little wonky. Just add like some spacers. It would look a little bit better. Uh, and the one thing I would keep on it is the wheels because I'm an Adhan boy. Next up, we got Miguel Angel at Osolito911 on Instagram, and he has a freaking vet, a C3 vet. This is such a change from what I usually review, but I love it. I freaking love the C3 vet. I love any Corvette, to be honest with you, but uh, this thing is sick, man. I mean, I love it so much. I love how the old pop-up headlights. He also says that he wants to keep it as stock as possible to preserve it since OEM parts for this car are very hard to find. And he just loves the way it looks already. And I completely agree, man. There's no real reason to modify these old muscle cars. Just keep them in their stock form, restore it a little bit, and you got yourself a beautiful build. It's also extremely, extremely clean. It's in really good condition. I love it, man. I, I love everything about it. It's awesome. I freaking, I just love these old muscle cars so much, dude. These, these C3s are just so cool. They look a little like, like jets because their front end is so long and then their back end is just so like up there. It's got a big old booty on her and it just, it just looks good. Uh, I love the car. Uh, it was an 80, by the way, 1980. He hasn't done any mods, obviously, but, uh, but either way, I'm going to tell you one thing I would change and one thing I would keep. One thing I would change is probably those side markers, how they're orange. I think it would just look better uh silver or clear and i know that's not like not keeping it oem but i really don't think something like that matters i think if you just did that it would look a little bit better but if your side markers are the only thing that i can complain about then you know you have a good build also whatever that thing is on the back actually i'm not the biggest fan of that either just take that off there but it's a beautiful car uh, the one thing i would keep on it is the fact that it's stock just keep it how it is in general and i would love it next up is caleb cassidy at caleb Cassidy on Instagram and he has a 350z uh, and you might at first glance you might think and I first thought and eh, this isn't the best 350z I've ever seen it ain't the best all right it's got a lot of ways to go before it becomes a super clean car but then you look under the hood and this puppy is boosted we got a boosted 350z I'm a little bit biased towards 350z's I will say I love 350z's and they're just like my kind of, they're my thing you know they're my thing 
but when it's boosted that makes it even better and it's a de i have a de and this is a de that makes me even even happier he gave me an incredibly long build list here he's definitely going for a performance style build none of these are like <laughs> look cool bit of parts actually it might they might even he might even be freaking drift in this thing if i'm being honest it looks like he like all the mods that he's done to it kind of screams drift car if that's the case dude good stuff it's awesome uh drift cars aren't meant to look super good and personally i don't really like the looks of yours to be honest with you but the fact that this thing i know is way more rowdy than mine i love that about it it might be a drift car even if it isn't though it's still really fast probably you probably win you probably win a lot of unsuspected races with this thing because people only think 350s are slow and you boosted it it's just awesome and it's a de like everybody's all like bro you gotta freaking boost hrs you can't boost DEs. it's impossible well he did it all right so screw you buddy caleb cassidy i like your car one thing i would change about it is that hood i'm not the biggest fan of that hood also i don't like hood pins in general i'm sure you probably need those though because you're pushing that turbo uh and the one thing i would keep about it is just the fact that you're going for like this insanely incredible fast little rocket ship of a car do that just keep doing that Okay, next up is Louis at Louis dot underscore dot saucy. And he has, he says he want to do something different. So what you're looking at is a California car. Mercedes CLK, short ram, cold air intakes, AM, AM. Basic verbal tune, Bill Stein, coilovers, Bill Stein. I don't ever, I never know how to pronounce those. He's got TE37s on this thing and a Flowmaster exhaust. He said basically anything you can do in California and have it still pass smog is done. I do like these freaking, I, see, here's the thing. Mercedes, I would never modify myself. I don't even think I'd ever buy a Mercedes myself. I just don't know what it is about them. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of them. But then when I see people modifying them, I'm always proud of them. I always feel like a proud dad and I have to give him a pat on the back. And the fact that you went with Volk TE37s, it's a, it was a bold move, but the move worked. I mean, those look pretty damn good on this car, man. They aren't, they're just like, TE37s just work with anything though, let's be honest. But I love it. Uh, would, is it my personal favorite? No, not really, but... Also, tint your windows, man. Come on, what are you doing? You gotta tint those windows. But uh, but that's just because I don't really care for uh, Mercedes in general. But, I mean, hey, he's doing something different, and it does work for sure. If you like Mercedes, you probably like this car a lot, but I'm just not the biggest fan of Mercedes. One thing I would change about it is the fact that they aren't tinted windows. Just tint the windows. It looks so much cooler. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't even have tinted windows on my 350Z, but whatever. Uh, and the one thing I would keep on it is the wheels. T37s are just so good. Also, I want to hear how this thing sounds because this does this have like a V8 or a twin turbo V6 or something? What does it have? What what is the engine? Let me know. Next up, we got Sten's seventh gen on Instagram, and he has a freaking 1978 Ford Thunderbird. He says not JDM, which by the way, I want to make it very clear: if you don't own a JDM car, that's okay. I just I, just because I like JDM cars doesn't mean that I don't appreciate something like this or that Corvette or that Mercedes, like, you can still send in your car. It's just because I like JDM, it doesn't mean that you can't send in your car, because something like this is nice. It's nice to have a change. And, I I, I mean, yeah, is this Thunderbird my personal favorite? No, it's not, but it's still a cool car, and I still like to look at them. Uh, the thing's cool, though. He says it's the first car, all original, except the Flowmaster exhaust and TA radials. You gotta put the freaking radials on the muscle cars, man. You just have to do it. If you don't do it, you're a weirdo, okay? Put the freaking radials on your muscle cars. If you have an old muscle car and you don't have radials on it, I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna slap you upside the head. Also, Flowmaster Exhaust, this thing, what is this, a V8? I don't know anything about muscle cars. I'm sorry, but I don't know if these things came with it. I'm assuming it did. A Thunderbird, it has to come with a V8, right? I hope so. And so that, that thing probably sounds rowdy. It looks like incredibly large which i don't really like but i guess i understand oh i love how the like, old muscle cars hid the headlights though i do love that i do like that a lot i like the color of the wheels too by the way i also like i i one thing i don't like is the color of the roof i wish the roof was just the same color as the rest of the car to be honest i don't know this, this car's weird i like it and then i don't like it and then i like it again and then i don't like it again it's very it's very strange but i i do for the majority i like it one thing i would keep about it is the hidden headlights don't ever take those off and one thing i would change about it is that roof all right next up we got atachi at atachi underscore dc2 and he has an acura integra 1996 acura integra gsr good good model good model he says a stock engine wise with its original b18c vtec and manual transmission full exhaust with headers and cold air intake going to change the wheels soon um I'm assuming the pictures that you sent me first are it now, and then the pictures that you sent me after with those hideous, redonkulous looking wheels on it are when you first got it, because you said, this is a car when I got it eight months ago. I like to think that I saved this car from being riced out, and if the second pictures are the ones that 
are the before pictures then yes you did but if these second pictures are the ones that you've done to the car so far then no you didn't because these second pictures look hideous but i'm going to assume that it's the first pictures because those are way better and they're nice dude you have you kind of have that curse that i had where you bought it with a bunch of terrible mods on it so all your money has to go to fixing the terrible mods that he did instead of just immediately being able to modify the car the way you want to and that kind of sucks but you've done, definitely done a good job first of all taking off all those stickers was great also, I don't know why, but that freaking spoiler in that in the before pictures looks like it's going to reach the freaking Eiffel Tower if you drive under it. That's te terrifying. He also has like Honda badges on the front and then an attack. <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, uh, I like what you did to it. I like those wheels. That's the one thing I would keep for sure. You say you want to get new wheels soon, but I actually like those, man. I think you should just keep those. Those look good. Uh, the one thing I would change about it is maybe add something to the back. The Acura Integra rear end is always like very weird to me. I feel like you gotta add like a diffuser or a bigger bumper or something. Okay, last one of the day is one Turbo S4 on Instagram, and he only gave me one picture, and it's a terrible picture. So, guys, for the love of God, if you want me to review your cards, I'm just gonna review them. But if you want like a better in depth review, give me more than one picture, and especially if it's covered in snow. Like, I can't see anything about this. All he says is literally all he said too was 87 Fiero GT, 350 wheel horsepower, 3800 supercharged i don't know what the heck that means 3800 pounds is how much it weighs what does that what does that mean uh five speed manual that's all he says so there's not really much i can rate here i love fieros though fieros are sick my dad has two of them they're really cool cars uh the one thing i would keep about it i guess is the wheels the one thing i would change about it is the ride height but i can't tell because the picture is terrible but that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe yada 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 also send in your car if you guys want to be featured in the next one and don't do what the last guy did, send in more pictures so that I have other stuff to go off of. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Excuse me. I love you each and every one of you. Check out the new channel link in the description. Also, of course, I forgot to say it earlier. I keep forgetting to say it, but check out the website for any merchandise, hats, shirts, or shorts, www.smoothstance.com slash shop. Oh, wow. My voice didn't want to work there. Uh, you guys, Donya, have a nice night.